Hi and welcome to the first of approximately six tutorials on index laws. This will cover the first of these index laws. Now the index laws are particularly useful in allowing us to simplify expressions in mathematics. They are a shortcut way which, if used correctly, can save us a lot of time and effort. Before we get into the first of these index laws, just a reminder about index notation. If we have something like 2 to the power 3, it will equal 8. That 2 is referred to as our base, the 3 is our index, also known as the power, and the last number is simply our answer. So, keeping that in mind, let's press on to the next slide, where we look at our first index law. Imagine that we wanted to simplify 4 to the power 5 times 4 to the power 3. We might recognise that 4 to the power 5 is simply 4 times itself 5 times, and 4 cubed is simply 4 by itself 3 times. By counting up the 4s, you can see that there are 8 of them, so we've got 4 to the power 8. How about 7 to the power 9 by 7 to the power 6? Well, using the same process, we've got 9 7s all multiplied together, and another 6 7s there, and altogether we've got 15 of them. So we can write a shorthand as 7 to the power 15. Pause the video here and see if you can work these out. OK, 2 to the power 6 by 2 to the power 4 should give us 2 to the power 10, the 6 and 4 adding to our 10. 8 to the power 4 by 8 to the power 2 should be 8 to the power 6. And the third one, 3 to the power 12, adding the 5 and 7 together. Finally, in this last one, we've got coefficients to deal with as well. So the 3 times 2 are multiplied together to form 6, and then Independently of that, we've got a to the power 12. So noticing that the 3 by the 2 gives us a 6 there. So in general, when multiplying terms with the same base, we simply add those powers. So a to the power m times a to the power n will give us a to the power m plus n. And there's an example. Please copy this into your notebook. Okay, we'll pause there and keep that for the second video.